You've heard the buzz around learning analytics. Schools, training departments, and other mobile using organizations hope these new tools will help improve the teaching and learning process, improve student retention and success, and answer important questions about the effectiveness of new programs and initiatives. Several commercial LMS companies are marketing learning analytics features, and a variety of tools have been introduced to the Moodle community as well. However, most of the existing tools, whether for Moodle or other learning management systems, suffer from one or more key limitations. Most are very general descriptive analytics systems, requiring considerable skill to interpret. Many of the rest make predictions based on very primitive indicators, such as logins or clicks. And finally, nearly all predictive systems currently available rely on proprietary black box algorithms that cannot be examined or validated by institutions. Moodle HQ is introducing Project Inspire to overcome these limitations with a next-generation learning analytics system. This system will go beyond descriptive analytics to provide powerful predictive analytics in Phase 1 and diagnostic and prescriptive analytics in future phases. We invite all Moodle-using institutions to participate in this project to produce the most powerful analytics tools available. In order to deliver a major qualitative improvement in these analytics tools, we will need to collect sample data from a wide variety of mobile using institutions. We've prepared a set of tools to help institutions participate, an agreement, a survey, and a plugin. The client data sharing agreement specifies what data will be collected, how individual personally identifying information, PII, will be protected, and how the data will be used. The institution site survey is a short questionnaire designed to gather key institution-specific goals and practices related to learning analytics. We also have a new plugin, Anonymize, which is used on a copy or clone of your Moodle database to de-identify both individual and institutional information before sharing with Moodle HQ. In order to participate, we ask that you review the client data sharing agreement, especially the technical requirements, and estimate the amount of effort involved to participate for example, to copy the database, run the anonymized plugin from the command line, and extract the database to a package. Also, complete the client data sharing agreement and the institution site survey. Moodle sites who participate in Phase 1 of Project Inspire will gain several important advantages. First, a site summary report will be provided to each participating institution, which characterizes that institution's usage of Moodle according to a broad range of indicators that we find significant during our analysis. Additionally, participating institutions will receive a community summary report, which allows individual institutions to compare their Moodle usage characteristics to that of all other participants broken out by key sectors. Finally, participating institutions will be invited to help steer early development decisions in Project Inspire. Additionally, if you give us permission, Moodle HQ will formally recognize participating institutions in Project Inspire presentations and marketing. However, this is not a requirement. We will not mention your involvement unless you have authorized us to do so. We're counting on you, quite literally. We believe Project Inspire will provide a qualitative improvement in learning analytics, helping all participants in the learning process at institutions of all types. But we need your support to collect the data for the analysis needed to reach these goals. Please contact your Moodle partner with any questions, and thank you.